I am David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we will create a new source for NVIM CMP. We want to achieve the following. Suppose you are developing a Node.js app and you want to add a dependency in your package.json file. Then it should be possible to have auto-completion for your package. as well as for your version. First, we need a state-of-the-art completion engine. We pick NVIM CMP because it's quite popular. There's also a section about source creation where we can copy a code sample. Let's create our folder structure. Our plugin name shall be named CMP NPM. Inside we create a Lua folder as well as a CMP NPM folder and an init.lua file. And in this file we paste the previously copied sample code. Let's go over the sample code. At the bottom you can see that we require CMP and register a source. The source is defined at the top of the file and enriched with a new constructor function. What it does is the following. It creates a new empty table and sets the meta table to a table with meta method underscore underscore index equal to source. That means if there's a property lookup on this table, it will look in the source table if it cannot find it. All newly created instances share the same methods of the source table. It is very similar to JavaScript's prototype. Let's go over the methods which we have to implement. The first one is called isAvailable and defines if the source shall be active or not. With getDebugName, we can set a name for debug information. Here we can set keyword patterns and trigger characters, but we don't need this in our case. The most important method is called complete. It gives us params and a callback function, and we can invoke the callback function with a table where each item contains a label property, which is used to populate our completion list. The last two methods are called resolve and execute, which are executed before or after we confirm an item. In our case, we don't need them. To run it, let's first remove those syntax errors and also those functions which we don't need. And now we can set the runtime path. So let me start NeoVim with an adjusted runtime path using the command set runtime path plus equal to this project. Now we can execute Lua require CMP NPM and include our file. To have a fast development cycle, let's also add it to our init.lua file. Require CMP NPM. And let's also add the source to our CMP configuration. We want to call it NPM. Now let's execute the same command, but also open our init.lua file as well as some package.json file, which we create here side by side. For the source to be recognized, we also have to change the name here. So first we change the debug name to npm. And at the end, when we want to register our source, we want to register it under the name npm. So let's reload everything and see if it works. According to our complete method, we should have completion for all months. And it works. Let's see how we can actually populate our completion list. There's a tool called npm search, which lets you search for some packages, for example, Angular, and it gives you a list. You can also provide no description to get rid of the description. And you can also provide the flag dash p to have a tab separated 
parsable output list. To trigger this npm command inside of NeoVim, we can use plenary job. And now in our complete method, we can run the job using job new. We can provide a list of the command npm search no description dash p and let's just write angular hard coded and in the end we provide an on exit function which gives us the result of the job and in the end we write start now inside this on exit function we can write local result equals to job result and let's just provide the callback here again. Let's refresh and test it. I write January and you see that I still get my completion items, which is great. But let's also see if we get the right result. So we can write print vim inspect result refresh and do it again and now we can have a look at messages and now you can see the result of our query so let's actually use our result first we create a new table called items and now we want to iterate over the result and we can just write for npm item in ipath result do and inside here we have to pattern match the things we actually are interested in so we can write local name and version equals to string dot match and we want to match npm item and it's a tab separated list so we can write everything then a tab then everything, a tap, everything, a tap. And then we can write name equals to name, gsub, white spaces, replaced by an empty string. We can write local label equals to name, concatenated with a version, because we also want the version to appear in our label list. And now we only have to insert it into the table. Table insert now into our items table, an entry with label equals to label. And since we don't want to insert the thing into our um, buffer, we want to insert something else. And for this, we can use the insert text property where we put the name in. And inside this callback, we give the items. So let's refresh and test it. Let me just write here Angular, and you can see we get code completion for our packages, including the version. And if we enter, we only have Angular, which is exactly what we want. So now let's remove the hard coded value Angular. And usually in a package.json file, you have something like this dependencies. And here you have something in quotes, for example, Angular version 0.1 or whatever. So the word we're interested here uh, is this one. So let's uh, extract it. So in our complete function, we can say local current line equals to params context cursor line. And we can also get the cursor column by writing here cursor dot column. The current column will become later important if we also want to provide completion for the version. So let's just write local name equals to string dot match. We provide the current line 
And now we want to have some variable amount of white spaces followed by a quote. Now we want to catch, capture something and we want to capture everything except quotes, multiple of them, followed by an optional quote. And now we can replace Angular with our name and see if it works. So let's refresh it. We can write Angular and you can see we get code completion. So the first task is completed. To get the versions of a package, there's a similar command. It's called npm info, then the package name, for example, Angular, and now versions. And now you get a list of all the versions. So now we have to decide if we want to provide um, completion for the package or the version. And for this, we can do the following. We can just write local underscore index after third quote equals to string dot find. We take the current line and we search for the index after the third quote, which is something followed by a quote, something followed by a quote, something followed by a quote. And now if I found something, then I can define some helper variable called find version, which is per default false, which will be our discriminator. And I can say we want to search for the version if our current column is greater or equal the index after the third quote. So let's just for now print this variable find version to see if it works. So let's refresh it. Now inside here, I want my usual completion. And I get false, so this time we are not interested in the version. And if I'm here, then I get true, that means I'm interested in the version. So let's implement the version check. So we don't want to start this job, but we can just say if find version, then we do something and else we perform the job which we have done before. And if we found the version, then we have to start another job and we can write job new npm info our name versions and we can also provide the dash dash, dash json format and our on exit function takes the result resulting job and here we need the result And let's just inspect it for now. We refresh. And now we write something here, trigger code completion, and let's look at our messages. And you can see we get the resulting versions. And notice that the first entry and the last entry, they contain those brackets from our JSON array and we want to get rid of them. So let's do this. So we can just write table remove from our result, the index one, and we want to remove the last index. We can use the get n method of our result. And now we can again construct our items table and we can write for npm item in ipath of result do something and we want to say local version equals to string match 
we take our npm item and we match for white spaces, a certain amount of them, followed by a quote. We want to capture everything in between, ending with a quote and an optional comma. And then we insert it. Our items with label equals to version. And in the end, we have to call our callback with our items. And here's a small typo, has to be items. Let's test it. Let's write 1.0, trigger code completion, and you can see we get all our versions. Now the last thing I want to do is to only activate the source if I'm in a package.json file. So I have to change this is available method. So I get my file name by writing vim fn expand percentage tail. And I only activate it if my file name is equals to package.json. Let's do a final test. I want to have my dependency Angular. I get code completion and also for the versions. That's it for now. The final plugin and the code can be found in my GitHub repository. I posted the link into the description. I want to give a special thanks to TJ who created an awesome video about NVIM CMP and how to create a custom source. It was a great inspiration for this video. The link is also in the description. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.